We welcome in Oscar Piastri. First and foremost, congratulations on an incredible season. You've had a hell of a ride. Just what's this experience been like for you in your rookie season with McLaren? Yeah, thank you. It's been uh, a roller coaster of, the, of a year. I think the the start of the season was was obviously quite tough for us as a team. But um, yeah, the last few weekends in particular have been pretty remarkable. Two double podiums for the team. Uh, three, if you want to include the the sprint race in, in yeah. Qatar. So. Um, yeah, it's been a remarkable turnaround and uh, yeah, on the, on the right track. Of the highlights so far, what's been your favorite moment this season? <laughs> um, of the highlights, I think um, Qatar. You know, sure. Winning the qualifying on pole for the sprint, winning the sprint, that, that definitely takes the cake. Um, my first podium in Japan as well, um, you know, being back on a, a podium and on an F1 podium is a pretty cool experience to say the least. So uh, those are probably the two. You mentioned kind of the, the start of the season to where you guys are now. What would you say is one of the most tough moments that you've kind of had to work through as a young driver? Uh, as in this season? Mm -hmm. I think, you know, even just the start of the, of the year, knowing that we were on the back foot Bahrain as the first race was quite tough. Uh, I think Miami was a very, very difficult sure. weekend for us. Um, just very slow, a few technical issues in the race as well. Um, yeah, not our, not our best weekend. So. Uh, in some ways, you know, it was nice to get those things out of the way whilst the car was, was a bit slow and I was still trying to learn. Um, but yeah, of course, as, as uh, early as they can make the car quicker, then you want them to do that. But it's a turnaround that we haven't really seen often in this sport. What's impressed you about the way that the team's been able to bounce back in unbelievable fashion? Yeah, it's um, like you said, it's, it's not often you see such a big uh, change in form during the season. Uh, you know, I think Aston Martin showed from... Uh, over winter that mm -hmm. from last season to this season they, they made a big step but we've managed to do it through the through the middle of the year which I think is impressive for us I think we came into the season knowing some things weren't how we wanted them and we were looking in different directions um, and the the biggest moment and I guess the proudest moment for the team is that everything we've changed and put on the car has, has worked exactly how we thought if not even better sometimes <laughs> so um, yeah that's probably been the most proud uh, thing about the team I think they've been you know, still motivated even at the start of the year um, when things were tough. They knew that they were starting to go in the right direction and they were making changes to try and address it. I'd say your maturity and composure as a young driver, I think, has really impressed a lot of people. You seem unflappable. The pressure never seems to be too much. Where does that come from for you? Um, I think partly my personality. Like, I'm, I'm pretty chilled out and laid back anyways. But you don't say. Yeah. Um, but, you know, I'm, I'm quite low energy. So, uh, yeah, it just comes through on the radio. I think also, you know, it's, it's, it's had some conscious work on that as well. I think for me, I try to, you know, get in the state of mind where I'm as calm as possible. And I think especially for myself, but just in general, making decisions is always... Uh, much easier and often has better results when you're calm uh, and, and able to think straight. So I think that's always been an important part for me and uh, going through motorsport, there's a lot of moments that try and trip you up or sure. test your, your patience. Um, so I've got a, a lot of experience with it as well. How has your partnership and friendship with Lando developed uh, through the year? Yeah, I think we've been you know working well from the start of the year. Of course, we're getting to know each other more sure. and more as the year goes on. and. Um, yeah, I think the, of course, the most important thing for us is to work together and try and help the team, especially at the start of the year. That was super important that we gave the team as much feedback as we mm -hmm. could in, in what we wanted to change, what was good, what was bad. Um, and, you know, we've said more or less the same things the whole time, which is, uh, I guess, uh, encouraging for the engineers and, and makes their life a bit more simple to go in one direction. <laughs> um, but, yeah, also, you know, we're just getting to know each other more and, uh, yeah, getting a... Uh, a strong relationship off the track too. Okay, you've driven the circuit. Yes. What's your impressions of what you're going to face this weekend? Um, I'm not sure. It's going to be very hot, especially tomorrow on Friday. As um, hot as Qatar? Uh, not far off. Okay. It's going to be 36 Celsius. So I don't know what that is in Fahrenheit, but I think in the 90s somewhere. Yeah. Um, don't don't quote me on that, but don't um, quote me either. Fast math. <laughs> yeah, so it's going to be it's going to be hot. Um, the track looks looks very bumpy. I've just walked it. Um, it looks very, very bumpy, um, so that's going to add another challenge, but also just the layout of the track, a lot of high-speed corners and a lot of low-speed corners, um, which you know, really tests out all your car's strengths and weaknesses, so we'll see how we go. You're coming off of a sprint win. What do you need to do to go back-to-back? -back? Um, I think it's going to be much more difficult this weekend, to be honest. I think Qatar, as a, a circuit and 
and conditions really suited us well. I think it was, yeah, probably, it was definitely a race even before the weekend that we had kind of eyed up that could be one of our stronger ones. I think here will be a bit more difficult. We still have some weaknesses in our car that maybe uh, weren't really exposed in Qatar. Okay. So here could be more tricky, but uh, we'll certainly try our best to uh, try and replicate it. Prior to the interview, we were mentioning Miami and all the hoopla that comes with that. Obviously, we've got Vegas in a few weeks. How would you describe Austin and the overall feel here? Um, yeah, it's it's been a cool experience. I think you know, there's obviously not that many fans here yet, but I've obviously watched it on TV mm -hmm. through the through the years and, and seen how big the crowds are. Uh, you know, if the crowds are as big as the flags that are around <laughs> the track, then uh, it's going to be a pretty crazy weekend. So um, no, it's been a, a cool experience racing in the US for the first time this year uh, in Miami obviously Vegas is gonna be huge as well but uh, I guess Austin is kind of the original uh, since we've come back to the US so uh, yeah so hopefully it's a, a good show the progress that you guys have made this season where does that put your hopes and your aspirations for next season rivaling the likes of a Red Bull yeah I think we can we can try and be confident I think the the rules are staying the same mm -hmm. um, which is is good news and uh, yeah, like I said before, I think everything we've put on the car has done what we hoped it would. Um, so yeah, we're, we're trying to push through for next year. Obviously we're in a very good place now in terms of just baseline speed and mm -hmm. performance. Um, you know, every, everyone's gonna be focusing on next year and trying to develop that car, but hopefully we're uh, on the right track. Well, we wish you the best of luck this weekend. Thank you for the time, we appreciate it. Thank you very much, cheers.